Well, how do you do there? Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we're still in the backlash of autumn. A few colours still, still about, but we're not here for the trees today. We're going to find a waterfall. <laughs> it's a bit of a, only about half an hour, 35 minutes walk from where we parked the car. So yeah, when we get there, I'll bobby back on. Because after the rain we've had, this should be quite nice. So with a bit of B-roll back there, a few of you might know where we're going. Obviously, with the trees and that about as well, there might be a few tree images after the waterfall. So stay tuned and see what we'll capture today. I think definitely we'll be getting the cameras out on his way back up. Because just down here, you got all this tree and stuff down here. All the moss all over the walls. You've even got a leading line for this wall just here. Leading you all the way up. And right in the distance over there, you might just be able to make it out. It's Studley Pike. So yeah, I think we'll fill his boots and we'll come back up here. Because we are making the descent down to the waterfall now. So yeah, so stay tuned because this will be one on his way back up. There we are, peeps. We have made it down to the waterfall now. There we go. That's two of the main falls. We've got another fall just further down there. We are going to get down as well, because I'm going to make use of this fallen tree down here and them little cascades. But before we do, I'm just going to show you the bridge. Because we have a little pack horse bridge. That's got a bit of fencing around it. Oh, look. You've got another one just up there as well, coming up off the ferns and straight up. But here we go. That's the back horse bridge. So I will probably take a few shots on this edge, looking through it as well. And all down here, so yeah. Now it's full of the boots time, so when I get sorted out, I'll come back to you. So I'll see you in a bit. Big drop down there now to get down where all the water's coming. So that's been flushed away as such, so yeah. Obstacle number two, how to get down. Yeah, I think we found his way down. Daz is just kindly trying it out. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be getting down there and making his way to the bottom. So I'm gonna put the camera away till I get down there and then I'll come back to you when I'm at the bottom. Right, I don't know if we can aim or not, but first composition all set up. I've come across from where Daz is shooting there, and yes, I've got a wet leg again, <laughs> as always. So, composition wise, I've got a Sigma wide angle lens on, the 16 to 28. I'm on about 20 millimeters, quite close in down here because I want to get this into the foreground as much as I can, really. And then these boulders lead you up from the left hand side. This stream leads you up from the right. There's a bit of cack over it right hand side, which I am just managing to cut out. Leads onto the main fall and this little fall around the corner. So yeah, it's quite a nice one, this. And you get to see through the bridge. I will try and move a bit further over as well. And I will probably do a, a vertical orientation as well as this landscape one. So yeah, first start of the image, it's quite nice, is this. So yeah, I'll bob this one on while I get sorted for the a nice um, vertical shot, let's say. And I might even try and get a bit closer to this fall. Right, I have nicely got composed now, this vertical shot. Come a bit further over. I am in on these two um, cascades again. And it's just getting that fall on the right hand side, coming in and the main fall right in front of you. But these cascades are working great, are these? Yeah, right in the foreground, leading you through the shop. The waterfall just, just comes, in, comes in, just from slightly off the frame. I might just take this again, just come a bit, round about there, I think. Focusing a third into the frame. This little cascade comes from the right hand side. The more or less zigzags you through. And again, got the polarizer on, just take a bit of glare off that water, so yeah. As this one's worked out, I'll bob it up now for you. That's the next shot now. 
I've just moved back a bit from where I was over at this side. I am just using this little rock in the foreground. I might even crop this to a square or an 8x10, something like that, just to cut that fallen tree out. But this rock, the two little fall cascades, the main falls in the background. So yeah, it does, quite, it does work quite well, does this. I'm sticking to my normal settings, one third of a second, which is, yeah, which is about right for this, I think, with the amount of water coming over it. And I'm on F16, ISO 200. It's like before, I'm using the ISO to control my shutter. So yeah, all being well, this is worked out and you'll see it next. Right, that's the next composition now. I was just on this rock, I saw this little cascade. As you can see, I am quite close to it, hence I'm on F16. So I have focused on this rock and it's getting these in the background. The falls are still quite big. So I am on literally what? Well, I'm not far in. About 20 mil again. So yeah, still on the Sigma, zoomed in and getting the ground this fall on the right hand side, just coming out of the top of the frame. So it just comes across the top of the bridge. <coughs> you can still see through the bridge which we haven't shot yet, so when we get back up there we'll shoot that. But yeah, it's, I find this is quite nice. And it is using the full aspect of the camera as well on the back. The full crop on the camera, all the way up. So yeah, making use of the full sensor on this one. So yeah, I'll bomb this one up next for you. So yeah, just filling his boots. Dad is making his way down as well. He started up here, slowly coming down here. I'm gonna try and get down there as well to get all this lot in. So whether that works or not, <laughs> I don't know, but stay tuned, it might get a bit wetter. I've made a bit way across the river. I haven't gone down to the bottom end yet. I thought, well, I'm halfway over. I'll come and try this. So I am under the rocks, as you can see. Just looking through this side. I thought, try and make use of this branch. So, currently on a vertical orientation, it's getting to branching, but also it's a bit foamy at the bottom. I'm sort of framing it at the top for these trees coming over. So it is only taking in that main fall there, and this sort of fall comes in from the right hand side. But you're getting a view nicely through the bridge at this side, so yeah. I'll bob this one anyway. I did a landscape and a vertical, so I'll bob them both on for you. I'm going to try and make my way back across. So I've already got a wet leg, so I might as well get another, haven't I? <laughs> right, next composition, I've got back across now, but I have come a bit higher up. I've been shooting quite low down to emphasise these, but with this one, I've got to come higher up because I want the fall to be sort of framed by this fallen tree just down here. I have purposely as well put that, that root in between the falls. So I've had to come around a little bit, bit by bit, just to make sure it looks right. So yeah, I did try it below there, but the tree was cutting in to the waterfall. So I'll put that one on and then I'll put this one on as well. So yeah, just let me know which you think works best. Personally, it's with the root in between the falls. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll bob this one up for you now. Right, I've come a bit further down now. Dad's just over there where I've been taking a little cascade, so he's having a go at them. But I have come down to try and get this big one here. I am nicely perched on a rock because it is deep there. Ideally, I want to get across to that one and shoot it right, right up so then it leads you all the way over. But I'm having to persevere with this one because I ain't getting over there. That is way too slippy. And if I slip above my head, that's me, I'm buggered. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to hire the tripod up a bit, but just show you the composition. I've got this little rock here. It sort of cascades both sides of it. And then it snakes all the way up to both falls. It's a shame the tree is blocking part of it, but never mind. That's part of this, but it's, 
this woodland down here. I've got this tree on the left-hand side, and I'm quite wired to get that one as well, just so <coughs> you get the effect of actually where we are. It's very green and mossy down here as well, so yeah, I'll get a couple from down here, that'll bob up. I'll catch up with you a little bit further down, because I've seen some more falls coming down, so a lot of ferns, a lot of, um, oh, might be able to show you where they are, just roughly down there somewhere. A lot of ferns, a lot of moss down there, so yeah, that could be one in a bit. I'm on this rock from before. <laughs> so this time I've come on a vertical orientation. It's getting all this white water leading you all the way up through the competition. The sun is just broken out, so it is blowing out at the top a little bit, but I will be cropping that off anyway. But yeah, looking through the camera, it's looking quite nice, is this? I think it could be my, one of my favourites so far, just because it gets all this water in and leads you all the way, it snakes you all the way up down to the falls, so yeah. I'll bob this one up and then I'm going to try and get over that side. I know I said I wasn't going to do, but I've been testing this water out the bottom. It's not too deep at this side, so I'm going to have to get across and then probably get Daz to lift the um, camera over. So yeah, I'll bob that one for you next. It does look a little bit like the Fairy Glen. So, little cascades coming down all over. So yeah, let's see what I can do around here. I can try and get into the middle over there because I've I've been in, my feet are wet. I thought it was shallow and it won't. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and get into the middle and take some shots looking back down. Nice little bubbles coming down here. So yeah, you might make a nice leading line with a longish exposure. Uh, that's the next composition. I've got to cross this bit. My feet are already wet, so I thought I might as well um, get them a bit wetter. <laughs> it is quite deep, is this? Hence, there's no cascades, it's all flowing bubbles. Dad's just walking into the shot now, but I've already taken it, luckily. I've just got his out on left hand side, that'll clone out. But basically, composition, I've got this, these folds coming down with the ferns in. It's looking nice and green, is that? Just with lone falls in the background. So it leads you onto the, into the bridge, so yeah. So yeah, it's been a, a nice eventful morning as this. So yeah, what I'll do, I'll bob these on for you now. And then I'll, I'm going to try and make my way down to the bridge. I'll try and get a shot underneath the bridge for you. So I'll see you when I climb back up there. So but enjoy these images for the time being. <laughs> to this side of the bridge now to show you down here there we go does it set up nice square crop look taking a cut this cascade on the left hand side the tree on the right hand side coming over the bridge the tree is full of moss it's really bright green it's like a luminous green so yeah <coughs> no doubt that'll be brought out in post so 
I'll end with this image on, on this side, and then we're going to go up the hill when we get to the top, <laughs> and we'll, we'll take them at school image, them, them barns and stuff. So I'll end with these images for you. So if you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. Do like as waterfalls. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.